Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use the new FreeSky Para wireless trainer function in order to hand over control of your model to a beginner that would like to learn flying your quad. First of all, I'm going to show you the basic way how the trainer function works over an audio cable. For this we have to connect both radios with the audio cable. Make sure to plug in the cable into the trainer port, do not confuse it with the earphone plug. Once the cable is connected, this icon here on the screen is indicating the connection. And now, when I'm switching the left master radio that is bound to my quad into the trainer mode, the slave transmitter on the right takes over control. For setting up the trainer mode we need to enter the model setup menu and then we have to scroll all the way down to trainer mode. Here we have to select master jack. Now we go ahead to the slave transmitter that only gets control over the model when I'm switching the master radio into the trainer mode. Here we also have to go to the trainer mode setting in the model setup. Now we need to select slave jack. Also make sure to switch off the internal and external RF because this radio isn't connected to the model. Next we need to set up the trainer switch. For this we have to long press the menu button in order to enter the radio setup. Then we page over to global functions. Here we can select the momentary switch and the trainer mode. Also make sure to check the checkbox to enable the global function. Now we can use the trainer mode on all of our models. If you just want to use the trainer mode only for a specific model, you can also set it up as a special function for this model. Now we can page over to the trainer menu. Here we have to make sure to set the mode to equals and also to 100% for each channel in order to hand over full control to the slave radio. And now the trainer mode works as expected. The slave radio gets control over the master radio that is bound to the model while I'm holding the trainer switch. And now we are getting to the new FreeSky Para wireless trainer function. For this we have to enter the radio setup menu of the master transmitter again by long pressing the menu button. Then we need to page over to hardware. Here we have to scroll down to the Bluetooth setting in order to select trainer. Next we need to enter the model setup menu and scroll down to the trainer mode again.
Here we can select Master Bluetooth. Then we go ahead to the slave radio. Here we also have to enter the radio setup menu in order to enable the Bluetooth module for the trainer mode. And at last we enter the model setup followed by the trainer mode in order to select Slave Bluetooth. Now we can go back to the master radio. Here we have to discover the slave radio in order to connect both radios with each other. The trainer icon on the display of the Tyrannus indicates the trainer mode again. And I'm able to hand over control to the slave radio when I'm switching the master radio into the trainer mode. Training. Thank you for watching and see you next time.